Here we are. Myself, Pastor George, Myself. and Augie. And we're in the shop and we're gonna document uh, the next step of the Suburban. Uh, we got the I-beam on the, uh, <clears throat> We got the I-beam on the uh, uh, on the A-arms going across. We bolted it in with uh, with grade eight and extra thick grade eight washers. Uh, we're starting to lay out the uh, line. So we're going very slowly, but this is, uh, it's kind of like the assembly line now. And uh, I'm really enjoying it because um, it's wide open. It's the first time I've ever uh, put a Suburban back together like the General Motors factory. Um, I can do it, I can redo it, I can look at it, I can check it. And uh, all the parts are going back together. It should be, the, uh, the frame off and the frame part of it is really going to be um, as good as I can make it, very sound. Um, it's been rebuilt by me three or four times already. Uh, we did the rear brakes and now we have it on wheels. So it's a rolling chassis. Uh, we put the new gas tank in it. Uh, I may put a little paint on the sending unit because this takes a lot of wear. The salt gets up into here and uh, we'll see. I, uh, the tank is pre-painted, but it's not that good of a job. But I have the factory tank over there, which I'm going to rehab. They run 600 to $1,000 now. So um, I'm just... I've driven these since I was 17 years old, and uh, uh, this is going to be uh, my camp, my rig to get up to my Adirondack camp, and it's turning out, uh, it's turning out pretty good. I just want to show the lines here. All the lines are double and triple POR'd, so they're not going to rot out anymore. Uh, we're getting them in the brake lines, the gas lines, so we'll. Uh, we're at the uh, at a pretty good stage now. Um, hopefully, we'll have this done by this fall, and uh, uh, just stay posted. And uh, we're going to put up some videos on our suburban as it progresses. Thank you, guys.